Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we're selling t-shirts. Song Theory t-shirts get you one today. Go to the link below. Uh, they're a teespring. They're beautiful. Black and gold. That's what we're selling them in. Anyway, today we're talking about Kanye West and his newfound billionaireism. He's a billionaire now. A lot of people don't know that, but he is a billionaire. And I'm proud of him. Because I remember when he was broke. Not broke, but I remember when he claimed that he was in debt and there was a lot going on and he didn't have the money he needed. And I understand that a lot of his brokenness came from, you know, some poor investments and things like that. Um, it might have something to do with a certain meeting that he was in, but we're going to talk about that later, maybe. Anyway, um, he actually successfully got himself to billionaire status, which is it's good. Um, I think that's good because it for him to be such a big star. For him to be a, to have been working so hard all of these years and being surrounded by all of these rich people, it's almost like you you almost expect him to have some moment where he's like, I'm a billionaire now. And also, it's kind of interesting that he became a billionaire because it's like I feel like he's always been in some competition with Jay Z, and everyone knows Jay Z's a billionaire, um, hip hop mogul. So yeah, I think that him and Kanye West probably had some un spoken competition against each other and obviously when it comes to being a billionaire jay-z won uh but kanye did eventually get to that point so let's talk about how kanye became a millionaire because i think that's how i think that's what everyone's been thinking about like how did he do it what was it sneakers and you know him being a christian two things let's talk about them so the Yeezys, you guys have been probably buying Yeezys since they came out in like 2012, I think. Uh, I don't know when they came out. I'll correct myself on the screen. But the Yeezys came out not too long ago. And everyone remembers when he said he's a renaissance man and that he can do anything and that he's a fashion mogul and a hip hop mogul and a producer and all this crazy stuff. And he was kind of right. I mean, the guy did end up, I mean, he won several Grammys. Um, he hasn't produced any movies or anything or a book, but he has produced a, a ton of songs and I think he's written a few and on top of that He also has done a lot in fashion as well. Thanks to his marriage to uh, Kim Kardashian West, of course And so I think that we have to consider yes him owning the Yeezy brand him working with Adidas Him doing all that did put him in a position that he's in now It had a lot to do with it and then the second part is him of course being a Christian now and his new album that came out recently the you know the Christian album that he made um, made millions of dollars I mean probably billions because you have to remember as well after he came out with that album he went touring to different churches then then he started his own kind of like music church I guess and and, and all those types of people came and paid celebrities and and leaders and all types of people so this guy effectively turned his entire career around so i mean i told you guys how i felt about the album you can take a look at it up here you can watch that i liked it and i think that on the road that he's on it's a possibility that he might be a billionaire for a long time to come my only problem is i hope he can keep up with it now i say that because with money comes problems a lot of you out there may not believe that but it does so I'm kind of hoping that he keeps up with everything and, and he doesn't fall apart. Everyone knows that he's been dealing with a lot of mental issues in the past 10 years. And so what I'm hoping for, for is that he could keep up with his billions. He invests, he takes care of it, he does what he needs to do with it, and he doesn't, you know, fall by the wayside when it comes to all of that money. And I guess it's only time that can tell. There's not much to say about this. I just wanted to talk about it. I just wanted to put it out there. But there's not much to say. The guy's a billionaire now, and I guess it really just comes down to seeing what he does next. And I'm curious. Tell me in the comments below, what do you think he's gonna do next? Do you think he's gonna go broke soon? Do you think he'll become a trillionaire maybe? What do you think is gonna happen with his career and his mental state? Who knows? Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. Like I said, I'm posting three days a week on Song Theory, and I thank you guys so much. And please, if you'd like to support the channel, buy yourself a Song Theory t-shirt. They're available now, they're beautiful, and I'm wearing one, so I mean, it's right here. Look at it, it looks good, right? Get yourself one. You can buy them in black and gold, and the uh, link is in the description below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless, I'll see you all later.